You know, Google knows where I am right now. In fact, it knows if I'm going to lunch today at Wendy's, not because I told someone about it and they're listening, but because I said it's okay. If you use Google to search the web, send email, or use Google Maps for directions, you've given it permission too. Google not only stores the information, but sells a lot of it to third parties. This has happened to everyone. Search for a Disney World vacation. Five minutes later, Disney ads start showing up everywhere you go online. Now, if that freaks you out, there are options other than Google. Here's one, DuckDuckGo. It's a search engine that keeps your search history private. This morning, I used it to search for Tesla and the KOA campgrounds. With Chrome, I'd likely see advertisements, but so far today, nothing about those two things have popped up anywhere I'm browsing, even Facebook. And those searches don't show up in my Google Chrome history either. Now, for most people, Google saving your web searches isn't that big of a deal. They're used so companies will pay Google for information so they can send advertisements to people most interested in their products. And remember, if something is free on the internet, like Google, you're the product being sold. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.